How we doing today guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video by your boy Six. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, so before you guys start saying, oh cap, that's not true. This bike sucks. Watch this thing to the whoops. Dude, I even messed up going in. It's still just easy mode. Easy mode. So stick around the very end for the setup. So I did make this thing a lot better to turn as well as through the whoops. The whoops is just absolutely insane on this thing. Like I, it can't go unnoticed been trying every bike under the moon and this one is like 100% the best of the whoops like I don't even get it dude even stock it's like this so we did put a setup on this thing I was grinding last night trying to get a good setup and dude we found what we was looking for well that was completely my fault tried to hop all the way out the whoops and caught my back wheel so I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this track dude I'm seeing it in my sleep everybody's been pounding laps in this track but that's what we gotta do to get ready for soupy the only issue I had with making the setup, guys, was the turning. Like the whoops, it didn't matter what I did, this thing would go to the whoops. So the main issue I was having was working on turning and the front tuck whenever you go into turns. But we did get that fixed for the most part. Now you're gonna hop on this thing and you're gonna hate it for a couple laps. But get the feel of it and I promise we will be seeing another field of blue next season. If everybody rocks this thing and tries this setup, we will see another field of blue. Oh, my fault. Hit the brakes too hard there. But I can be really consistent on this thing too. It's just, I don't know what it is. The setup, man, it just, it works. Like, I don't get the bounce going in the corners. I don't get the, you know, the front end, like, shakes going in the corners and stuff on other bikes. I'm not getting that on this blue machine here. Might just be because Yamaha's meta, IRL, and in game. Oh. Excuse my funky riding. So I was in I was in here throwing 57s like consistently last night. Can't do it right now. It's so hard to talk and record these, but dude, just an insane whoop speed, just right on top of them the whole time, no issues. Yeah, no issue turning. That line's so hard to get. Should I do the big over the table right here? Nope, not quite, not quite, not quite. We died. Rip. Rip six. But seriously, guys, you gotta stop sleeping on this thing. I know, the rev limiter, holy. And not to mention this thing has the best sounding rev limiter out of all the bikes. So I even dropped my front wheel down in that whoop and it's still just like settled out. It's also the most consistent bike that I can get off that dragon's back. Tripping off that dragon's back, I can do it almost every lap, just clean on this thing. Let's do a little back up here. Oh, wrong angle, wrong angle. Might just be also, I'm a big Yamaha lover in real life, so I might be a little biased in this, but I'm telling you boys, the whoop speed is unreal. And that's gonna be like primarily what the biggest issue in Supercross is gonna be is whoops, right? You gotta be able to hit them bad boys every lap. And I promise, dude, we got people out here on the KTMs, Gas Gas, Huskies, they're gonna be like bouncing off to the whoops. Just every lap, your boy six is just gonna be trucking through them like a freaking steamrolling train. Absolutely barking the virtual dirt course. Oh. Never went over that hump there, not once. Oh. Complete user error. I'm a squid.
Just wide open there. Oh, jeez. We're gonna do one more lap and I'll show you guys the setup. Oh my gosh, just wheelie all the way with the dragons back. You know, we're gonna end that there and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the setup. So, feast your eyes. There. So, I am doing medium front, medium rear. 120 in the rear. You can do the 110 if you would like. I don't prefer it on the 450s. On 250s and stuff, I generally go down the 110. Uh, but just one bar, one bar on the tire pressure. Of course, I change the front leverage. leverage so that way I don't brake so intensely. 4.5 on the front suspension on the spring. 14 bump in rebound. 6 preload. 90 oil. And then we go down to the rear suspension. So the biggest thing I had to work with on this was the front suspension to be able to get it to turn right and not like tuck the front constantly. Then we go down to the rear suspension, 52 rear spring, 12 slow bump, three and a half on fast bump, which I might actually adjust that a little bit more. I might go up to four, uh, seven rebound, six preload. I run the 1251 gearing myself. I don't know, it just feels right. I have to shift a lot, but the, the second gear just really pulls whenever I need it. Just shift down the second and we go on, baby. Uh, geometry, 24 on the fork offset, 12 on the fork height, got 8 on the swing arm length, and I always max out the rod length. And 2023 mapping. Guys, go try this thing, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Just trust you boy six here, alright? Well, that will conclude today's video, guys. I hope you have a blessed day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.